Hello today's video we have the following content. The final chapter of QIU says love, after Rainy Yang and Tang Yan, a second married woman helped him find true love. The scum is indeed a scum, and the handsome is indeed handsome. With sword-like eyebrows, eyes like stars, red lips and clean teeth, and a straight nose, QIU's appearance is almost flawless, and the only shortcoming is his height. This handsome star was labeled as a scumbag and suffered accusations for more than 10 years. His reputation dropped after breaking up with Rainy Yang and Tang Yan, and then he showed his affection to Zhang Juning but was rejected. How did a prodigal son be conquered by Su Weening, a divorced woman? From a screen partner to a partner in real life. I once mentioned that if there is good news, I will tell everyone. Now the good news is that we are married. In December 2021, Qiu Zhe and Su Weening officially announced their marriage on social media, and the two shared a happy photo. Before that, there was no news of the two being in love, and this sudden good news surprised netizens. After in-depth investigation by netizens, some clues were indeed found. When they were working together on When a Man Falls in Love, the two developed feelings for each other. At the film promotion event, the two looked at each other with deep affection. In the interview, Qiu Zhe often said some playful words to Su Weening, which made her laugh. At that time, their relationship was probably inseparable. After the movie was released, the sweet partnership of the two protagonists in the play made the audience say too touching. Qiu Zhe won the title of Best Actor at the Taipei Film Festival. When he gave his acceptance speech, he looked at the audience affectionately and said, Thank you to my heroine Su Weening. At that time, the audience thought it was just to promote the movie, but they didn't expect that the couple in the play would actually get together in real life. Qiu Zhe has always had a bad reputation, so even if he made his relationship public at that time, he might have been criticized. At the moment they announced their marriage, many people speculated that they chose to get married because they had a child, thinking that this was a case of mother relying on son's honor. Some media asked Su Weening about this, and she denied the rumor. It's not that time yet, the work is still going on. It was not until March this year that the two finally announced that they were preparing for pregnancy and planned to hold a wedding in the fall. Tiffany Su explained why she chose autumn as the time for the wedding, the heat in summer makes me feel uncomfortable, and the rain in spring makes me a little worried. It seems that I prefer autumn. She said frankly that she had imagined various forms of weddings, but she would eventually choose the most convenient one. Considering that there are elderly people in the family, she will definitely not choose to hold the ceremony abroad. It can be imagined that Tiffany Sue, wearing a wedding dress, will slowly walk in the fallen leaves of golden autumn and will definitely become the most charming bride. As a Chinese-Italian mixed race, her appearance has been particularly exquisite since she was a child. Even if she is beautiful, she still can't escape the fate of being let down. From eight years of stable relationship to quick marriage and divorce, Tiffany Sue's father is Italian, which makes her have outstanding beauty, but also makes her experience many twists and turns in her heart. When she was a child, her father left home and never came back. She never experienced fatherly love, and suffered a lot of bullying in her youth because of her similar appearance to her father. In that era, mixed-race faces were not favored by Taiwanese people. Kunling recalled that she was often ridiculed by classmates in her childhood because of her unique appearance. Tiffany Su's situation was even more serious. Her classmates even accused her father of being a member of the Eight Nation Alliance. She once went home in tears and asked her mother to dye her hair black and use dark foundation to cover her cold white skin. Such experiences shaped her introverted and inferior character. After graduating from high school, Tiffany Sue was discovered by a scout for her outstanding appearance and successfully entered the entertainment industry. She filmed her first advertisement in her life at the age of 16, and her partner was 18-year-old Ethan Ruan. Driven by hormones, the young boy and girl quickly fell in love. After filming the advertisement, the two successfully joined the same company. It happened to meet the craze of Taiwanese idol dramas, and their careers flourished rapidly. Ethan Ruan was considered to have a similar appearance to Ming Dao when he first debuted. He participated in Faded to Love You and even set the highest ratings for idol dramas in the history of Taiwanese TV. Ruan Jingxian's achievements benefited from the support of his girlfriend behind him, while in comparison, Su Weening's career development was not so smooth. Su Weening has participated in many TV dramas, but because of her beauty, directors often think that she can only play the second female role at most. Just stand there quietly and show your beauty. In It Started With A Kiss, she played a white, 
rich and beautiful character named Pei Ziyu, who was responsible for destroying the relationship between Ziyankin and Naoki. In Next Stop, Happiness, she played Hiyukian, who was also white, rich and beautiful, and her favorite Rang Guangxi also carried a lingering past. After the show was broadcast, it received extremely high praise, and in the history of Taiwanese idol dramas, the ratings ranked second. Career gradually developed in a good direction, but her boyfriend kept making trouble, and the rumors about Ru and Jingxin, a playboy, came one after another. Accompanying a female college student to a hotel, he was photographed and even argued that one of them was on the bed and the other on the sofa. During his development in the mainland, he had a scandal with Zhou Donggyu. Su Weening could defend her boyfriend once or twice, but these endless gossips made her understand the true face of the other party more clearly. In 2015, the couple had an eight-year relationship and finally announced their breakup. Two years later, Su Weening and Liu Yanian entered the marriage hall. Liu Yanian is not only talented, but also has outstanding appearance conditions, and he is also proficient in photography and painting. However, the long-term separation during the epidemic made them realize that there were big differences in their concepts. So this marriage did not last long and ended peacefully. Su Weening's career has once again reached a new height, actively trying different types of roles. No longer the stereotyped villain second female in idol dramas, the roles are becoming more and more diverse. Her performances frequently appear in horror movies and suspense dramas, and her acting skills have gradually been recognized. With her outstanding performance, Su Weening won the Golden Bell Award for Best Supporting Actress in the Taipei Film Festival for Best Actress. As her career flourished, true love also quietly arrived. The second year after her divorce, Su Weening entered the marriage hall with the scumbag Q Iuza. He deserved to be called a scumbag. The seeking of the entertainment industry finally changed his mind. Q Iuza met Rainy Yang during the filming of Original Summer. Rainy Yang took the initiative to show her affection to him, and then the two began to date, and were captured by the media many times when they were dating. Q Iuza has always been reluctant to admit his relationship with his girlfriend and often used cold violence against her. Rainy Yang recalled. Although he acted cold to me and seemed unwilling to give, I still longed to throw myself into this flame and give back to him. However, her spirit of courage and resolute pursuit did not impress Q Iuza, and they finally chose to break up not long after. Not long after, rumors of a scandal between him and Ching Kaya Oon began. The two often went out together during the filming of Fortune and Health. Chen Kaya Oon takes relationships very seriously and said frankly through Sun Darren, it is natural for unmarried men and unmarried women to make friends. Q Iuza has never made his relationship public, but has frequently been reported in negative news. Chen Kaya Oon was disappointed with this weak man, so she chose to take the initiative to end their relationship. The three daughters of the Xia family made Q Iuza and Tang Yan have a deep relationship. It is obvious that there was an extremely sweet atmosphere between the two. The sweet scenes in the play were also continued in reality. At that time, they were undoubtedly a couple in the entertainment industry that fans envied very much. During the relationship between the two, Q Iuza was exposed to have a late-night date with the young model Li Yufen, suspected of cheating. Tang Yan's assistant was furious at the time and wrote a long article, completely nailing the label of scumbag to Q Iuza. In recent years, Tang Yan's fans have continued to attack Q Iuza, but Q Iuza only responded with one sentence, For me, love is not a show. Please forgive me for not being able to express it publicly. Regarding love, I have not let anyone down. Not to mention that he later publicly confessed his love to Zhang Juning, but she used a sentence thank you for your kindness to evade him. Others knew nothing about this. Was this for the purpose of moral kidnapping? It was not until he held hands with Su Weening that he began to slowly get rid of the title of scumbag. I hope he can cherish the people around him. Both of them have outstanding looks, and their lives are sweet and warm now. They started to consider preparing for pregnancy after accumulating milk powder money, which may be a manifestation of true maturity. I wish Qiu Zhe and Su Weening to welcome their children as soon as possible, and I look forward to hearing about their wedding as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 